Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing good. Thank you for stopping by and I sincerely hope you will find something useful in today's video. Since it's spring now, I would like to start uh, something very colorful. For this, I'm planning for this piece. Um, I'm planning on working with rainbow colors. Um, the idea is to have a dark center reflecting kind of um, rainbow rays in all directions. Um, in and later on, I plan to embellish this dark center. Um, but today's piece will be extremely easy, I promise. And I hope it will turn out as beautiful as I am envisioning it right now. Um, for later embellishment, I plan to use dark center. Um, so I'm using Thalo Blue and I will be surrounding it with the colors of rainbow in layers. Um, and later on you will see in the video for swiping and to get some cells, I have used few silicone drops in the black paint. Uh, it's simple artist loft um, acrylic paint. I just used a couple of drops of silicone in it. And this time I will be swiping using plastic sheet. Now I think I'll speed up the process a bit and let you enjoy the video. So I'll see you in a bit. So here I'm using the plastic sheet to swipe the colors and you can cut this sheet into the uh, width that you like your rays to be. Um, so it's pretty simple. But look at this. The moment I'm swiping that um, black over other colors, I'm loving how the cells are coming up. That is so, so beautiful. And, and I did see some um, gap in the continuity, so I just swiped it all over again. But that is what I like about uh, fluid art or art in general. You can you can change it. It's your art. You can work with it. You can modify it. So I just love it. I'm at this time. I'm just in awe with all the cells I'm getting. <laughs> I'm using different width of uh, this plastic sheet, but overall it is giving me good, good results. One thing though I would like to say, you can see a little hole. So I just little, I just put my finger on the plastic sheet a little bit so it can glide on it uh, without leaving any air bubbles uh, in the paint. And so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, overall, it's very easy process um, and give you good results. I hope you like it as well. So here's the final wet piece. It's not final final, but for this part. And you can see I love all these cells. Uh, how the cell um, paint layer glided over each other and you can see different colors within uh, the cells. So I really like this super simple technique. It gave me really beautiful results. So I'll let it dry uh, for a while and then I will start with phase two. 
so it's completely dried now um, now I have taped this stencil on half portion of it and I will be using this modeling paste here this is uh, from Artist Loft um, so I will be um, gently putting um, our, this modeling paste on top of the stencil we don't have to put a thick layer just very thin one um, and we have to work quickly with uh, but when we are working with modeling paste so not too much just glide it over the stencil and that's it once I have all the modeling paste uh, over the stencil um, I will be using gold paint to cover the modeling paste otherwise modeling paste in itself will dry white so but I would like to give it a pop of color so that's why I'm using this gold and again very light very little um, paint is required and we have to work quickly as soon as all the gold and modeling paste covered the stencils I will have to remove the stencil um, as soon as possible as quickly as possible so you will see how it turned out in just a bit. Nice, I like it. So let's just take care of the excess here. And it shouldn't be a problem because we can take care of this um, when, the, when I will switch the side. So I'm going to clean it up with paper towel quickly and then do it this way. So I'll be back. So now this is dried and I would like to match uh, this half portion so I'm gonna add Here's the final piece um, it's not completely dried on this side which we just did but overall it is uh, quite done um, I just have to fix a little bit here uh, the modeling paste is showing without the golden color but that's not a big deal we can fix it overall I really like this piece um, the rainbow colors with golden stencil I I think this came out really beautiful and I don't know the orientation that I would like to keep this whether I would like to keep it horizontal or portrait I think in both ways it will it should look good like this or just like this um, but it's a very easy painting right swipe pour in sten golden stencil with modeling paste so I love it so here's the final piece it's completely dried now I think the stencil look really good and the transition of blue green and yellow and red is also looking good um, and all these um, cells I really like this I think it's perfect for spring um, this is the complete view let me know what you think 
Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.